Hey everyone, it's Mickey Made It, and I'm excited to introduce you to Inspired by Dreams, my preppy streetwear brand. See, this line is all about blending the classic and the contemporary, bringing you stylish pieces that are unique as your dreams. So whether you're hitting the streets or just chilling out with your friends, our collection offers the perfect mix of sophistication and urban edge. Join us in redefining streetwear fashion and let your style be inspired by dreams. Check out our latest collection and become part of the dream today. Greetings, greetings, all my dreamers and dreamettes. It's your boy, Mickey Fenty, AKA Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. And also, if you want to support my brand, you know I'm a fashion designer as well as a content creator. It's inspiredbydreams.shop. You want to support my brand it's inspired by dreams shop little sign down at the bottom right there. okay today's episode this is really crazy what's been going on you know it's not just at every neighborhood and every it doesn't matter if it's low income high income we're seeing more and more violence now in today's episode it this just it's crazy it didn't it didn't draw me by surprise, but it just made me think, like, I feel bad for the people that live in this neighborhood. A group of kids break into a gun shop. Let's check it out. ATF agents are working with Orange County detectives to track down the eight men who used stolen cars to ram the store and then steal dozens of guns. NBC4's Hetty Chang live at the store right now with some new details about the investigation. Hetty? Well, Colleen, you can see how the storefront looks like now. Police say this is where that group of men used that stolen Kia to ram into the store. They were in and out within two minutes. Now, law enforcement tells us the burglars did leave a few things behind, including a bag, and inside that bag, jewelry they believe was taken. It feels like in 2025, a lot of people are gonna rather, you know, they're gonna make a better profit of having their businesses online. The early morning heist at the Fowler Gun Room Saturday is caught on the store's many security cameras. Watch how several men climb out of three cars, which orange detectives say they stole from nearby just before the burglary around 5 a.m. One man uses the stolen gray Kia to ram the front of the gun shop. It takes three tries before he's able to break through the store armored glass and security gates. Eight men wearing masks and hoodies, some equipped with headlamps and sledgehammers, ransacked the store, breaking glass cases. Within two minutes, the store owners tell us the group stole 85. And the sad thing about it is, these are gonna be the same kids that are gonna be breaking into homes and doing home invasions in the neighborhoods that they come from, and they're gonna be using those guns and robbing people. And there are more guns in the street, the more violence, and that's how the crime rate is just gonna triple. And the criminals' hands that are going to be used to commit robberies, burglaries, any sort of crime. The crew left one car in front of the store and police say they ditched the other two cars nearby. Police say the break-in was carefully coordinated and believed to be connected to at least one other gun store robbery in Camarillo recently. We believe that this is a series, and that's why we are working and collaborating with ATF on this case. While police do their investigative work, loyal customers are working with the longtime family-owned business owners who say they are devastated. Saturday morning, a customer who owns a construction company began boarding up the storefront. It's just sad to do it to... Like I said, this is my store too. And this Marine, a 30 year customer, says he wants to make sure no one else thinks about breaking in again. I volunteered that if they needed a night watch, I will work with their employees. Yes. <laughs> and I'll take a shift. I feel like that could be an inside job or somebody that knows the owner that know that they didn't have the proper security or the proper you know just smarts or you know not just being savvy of what's going on in the community and that could be that definitely looked like somebody that could have probably knew him but it's just sad because it's not going to end there those guns are going to be in the hands of people that's going to be harming other people and then could you imagine how much the violence is going to go up there the crime rate wherever they're from i don't know if that's orange county but could you just imagine the crime rate that's going to go up and the people that's going to be affected by the guns they stole and depending on what types of guns they stole or what types of that guns that that shop was selling that's what they took because we as we can see they broke in and took everything almost everything that was in the front so those are the same guns that's going to be used in the neighborhood 
livelihood and sad but we gotta really take heed of what's going on out here people are selling guns like they're candy and then you know their shops get broken into and they don't even have the proper security for their their um their gun shops because if they're gonna just it's that easy to crash a car into it and they're just gonna run in and we've seen this going on time and time again we've seen these um the smashing grabs and the crashing grabs those are the two things that's going on in neighborhoods and people are just going and doing wilding out and doing what they want so I, I could expect to see more um, more violence in, the, in that neighborhood and I can also expect to see more people doing this whole um, crash and grab. It's sad but um, you guys let me know how y'all feel down below and I'll have more you know reactions coming. I love you guys. Peace.